Oh, there's the riding mower. I took the seat off. We're gonna figure out a way to make this into like a little pickup truck with an old wheelbarrow back. We're gonna do it cheap and quick. And that's the wheelbarrow we're using. I actually found this thing in the garbage last year with its homemade handle. So that bed will be just big enough for that thing. So if I put too much weight in the back, it's just gonna pull a wheelie. So let's get these bolts okay, out. Okay, this is what I'm starting with. I took apart one of those things that you have in a body shop that I guess you put a fender or hood on and you could tilt it to paint it. I had gotten a couple of these uh, when I cleared out a body shop. And I'm going to start one of the bars straight across and then I'm just going to come out, make a rectangle and then just have two braces coming down and then just re-put the seat back on in the center. And then I'll put the wheelbarrow thing on there. Like I said, when that looks for anything fancy, uh, that's what I'm going with now. Oh, there's our first test fit. Man, how stupid does that look? Um, across the back, I'm going to join the two tubes. And then I'm going to run something from here to here. Because right now it's on an angle because the seat is springy. So we're going to pull it down and then attach it right there. I'm going to wind up bolting it down to here. Um, so for now I'm going to make the things... And I'll take a measurement like that. And you know what? <laughs> it might seem stupid, but I think that's going to do the job. I can't go back too much further. This thing will just pull wheelies. We already got it weighted down with rotors in the front, and I'll probably put the stuff back in the back. But like I said, if it gets my son to do the job, I don't care what it looks like. So let's keep cutting this thing up. This is what we got so far. So. That's what we're going so far. Like I said, I gotta put a spacer bar in the back. And that's about it. So, let's keep working. Well, this is how far I got on the rat rod, wool mower, pickup truck, dump bed project. Okay. I did that frame yesterday. Which I welded here and bolted there and hooked up under the seat. Okay, this almost uh, like levels it off because of the angle it's on. And in the back, we're making up a crude pipe hinge so we could dump with this. So. We're, we have an investment of $1.50 so far. Well, there it is. We just need to make some kind of catch so when it's uh, sitting down like that, it doesn't flip back. Took the old wheelbarrow, so I welded the plate in, made myself a pipe hinge across the back, that's what I call a rat rod lawnmower, and when he gets to where he's going, whoop, Got a little dump. You know what? It doesn't hold much, but the more he moves, the less I have to move. That's the way I think of it. So, that's got to shim the front of that seat up. It's tilted down now. Um, and like I said, I got to do something, something that's simple and easy. So when it closes, it just stays down. You know what I mean? So. So it is kind of tippy. I don't need him to launch this thing and everything tip all over. So I think we did pretty good. We'll let it all rust up like it's been on there for 30 years. So nope. Like I said, total investment, $1.50. So, let me shim that seat and come up with some. Holy smokes, everything rattles on it now. 